okay in today's session also we are going to discuss on boiler mountings and accessories in the previous sessions we have, st we have studied the boiler mountings so uh, we have seen one of the boiler mounting that is a water level indicator so this water level indicator shows the level of water inside the boiler so in the today's session also we are going to see some of the boiler mountings uh, so let us see so this is the pressure gauge uh, one of the uh, boiler mounting there's a pressure gauge so in the left hand side uh, figure i am showing the pressure gauge so how this pressure gauge works now so this pressure gauge is fitted on the uh, boiler so fitted on the boiler so this pressure gauge is used to measure the pressure inside the boiler so how this works so this works in a very simple manner so now i'll show you so so this one <coughs> at the bottom side this is fitted on the boiler so i have shown here is the steam so wherever the steam is uh, there so steam is stored in the boiler drum so this pressure gauge is fitted on the boiler drum and in simplest form this pressure gauge consists of a elliptical tube it is consist of a elliptical tube so this elliptical tube this elliptical tube is bent into a circular arc circular arc and one side of this uh, the bent tube in the form of circular a circular <clears throat> in, in the form of a circle is uh, uh, connected to the steam and one another side of this uh, uh, circular arc bent tube is connected to the tooth sector with a pinion arrangement in the pinion arrangement and this on the pinion arrangement uh, we have fitted the pointer so which shows the the reading of the pressure and uh, <clears throat> now so when this uh, uh, the side uh, this steam is connected to the boiler so that with the high pressure this steam enters this uh, tube so uh, whenever the high pressure steam enters here so this circular um, uh, tube is uh, trying to straighten is trying to straighten but uh, it is already bent into an arc so it opposes the straightening of the tube so when it opposes uh, so it uh, uh, it rotates the, this uh, pinion and the tooth resector so on the top of this uh, the tooth resector there is a pointer is provided so then there is a stretching of this uh, burden tube takes place so that will uh, this pointer will move on the scale so that will show the the pressure inside the boiler so it's very simple so the in its simplest form the pressure gauge is a elliptical form this burden tube so means the pressure gauge consists is example is burden tube pressure gauge so this in this figure what i've shown is the burden tube pressure gauge so this burden tube pressure gauge in its we are using the elliptical form of a burden tube which is bent into a form of a circle so that one side of the circle is connected to the steam uh, the, the steam top that is the boiler end so another end is connected to the tooth resector and this tooth resector is connected to the pinion so whenever the the steam enters with high pressure on, on one side of the tube so this tube it is trying to uh, st straighten the tube when it's trying to stretch stretch the tube so the same in the same time so this pointer moves on the scale so how much stretching or how much lengthening of the tube takes place that much change uh, the, the pointer will show on the scale so that itself uh, so we can read the uh, the pressure inside the uh, boiler so this is how the pressure gauge works in the uh, the boilers next one is steam stop wall this is steam stop wall the steam stop wall Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm.
the purpose of maintaining constant safe pressure inside the collar. Pressure inside the bump is the design which lifts from the seat flow of the steam pressure automatically. The more lifts from the seat, the more Yes, it's the seat. Yes. Seat. Charge. The next one is uh, safety walls. So the following are four types of safety walls. So for what purpose we are using the safety walls is the first question. The name itself says it is a safety walls. Walls are used for the safe functioning of the boiler. So the first one is liver safety wall. Second one is dead weight safety wall. The first is liver safety wall. In the left hand side figure I have shown the lever safety wall. So how this lever safety wall operates now? The lever safety wall. So now in this one, so I have shown the this side is uh, fitted on the boiler. So this is fitted on the boiler. So in this figure I have shown this is the body, this is the sheet, the wall, fulcrum, struct, guide and load. Right? This is a lever operated wall safety wall so at the end this is the load is uh, provided here so the mainly the purpose of safety wall is to maintain the desired level of a pressure inside the boiler so whenever the uh, designed uh, pressure so the it means the boiler is designed for particular pressure 
so uh, after that pressure so the boiler uh, will not uh, hold that steam inside so it means by using this all the uh, the boiler mountings uh, so it can maintain the normal pressure inside the boiler so when the the steam pressure inside the boiler exceeds the designed pressure then what happens now the steam enters in this way in the wall so when it enters then this wall it lifts up it's it lifts up uh, from the seat so usually the wall is seated on this seat so whenever the the pressure inside the boiler increased above the designed pressure then this wall lifts up so lifts up means there is there is a gap in the wall and the seat through that gap the steam comes out of the boiler to maintain back the desired pressure inside the boiler so for that this lever safety valve is used and the second one is dead weight safety valve this dead weight safety valve is also a similar to a lever safety valve means the function is the same but the uh, components used uh, in this valve is different so in in here is again there is a steam pipe is there again there is a discharge pipe and there is a seat and the stud is used here and also the, this is called as the casing so the casing means this is this is a casing like a c channel this is the casing right so on the casing there is the weights are uh, provided the weights are placed on the casing then this is a wall is there those are similarly so the whenever the, uh, the steam the pressure inside the boiler exceeds the desired pressure then again steam enters uh, uh, this uh, inlet pipe here like this so when it enters here this wall along with the case and the weights it lifts upside when it lifts upside then the, this steam enters this wall and this steam comes out from here to the discharge pipe and some of the steam it enters the atmosphere so once again the pressure inside the boiler is maintained again uh, the uh, again maintained uh, uh, below the desired uh, designed pressure so this is how the dead weight safety wall is also used here so the next one is a uh, high steam uh, so the high steam and low water safety wall so in this safety wall mainly this is a combination of uh, uh, two walls here so the two walls means see in this case so the this one this is used whenever there is a steam in the boiler is very high or the steam uh, pressure is high so in that case so this operates so this is the one wherever there is a, a, a water level is uh, reduced below the marked level so the this means that uh, when the water level becomes too low so when the water level becomes too low so this this wall operates so whenever the the steam uh, <coughs> working pressure of the steam exceeds the desired pressure in the boiler so this wall works now so how this works means whenever the steam inside the <coughs> so whenever the steam inside the boiler exceeds the desired pressure so then this these lifts up so there is a wall here it gets opened and the through this the again there is the steam is going out to the atmosphere so this is the one and whenever there is a water level is too low here again this wall is lifts up again similarly so the same thing this walls also lifts up again the steam goes to the atmosphere so, so this, this is, is how the high steam, steam level high steam, steam and low water, water safety wall works, works here. here so, so mainly this, this is used in polish and line share boiler so it is the combination of two loss liver safety wall one of which is the liver safety wall which blows off the steam when the working pressure of the steam exceeds the desired pressure the second wall operates blowing off the steam when the water level becomes too low inside the 
boiler. So the next one is a spring loaded safety valve. In the case of a spring loaded safety valve, so in the previous uh, three valves, you have seen the load is used, the, the some dead weight, so or the <clears throat> load is used uh, to operate the valves. But in the, this uh, fourth case, the spring is used instead of weights, right? So the mainly these uh, uh, spring loaded safety valves used for locomotives and marine boilers. So it is loaded with the springs instead of uh, uh, weights. The spring is made of a round or a square spring steel rod in helical form. In helical form. So then helical form means uh, this is a helical form. So like this. So it, it like this. It moves like this. This is a helical form. So this spring what I have shown here. This is the, the cross section. It is a cross section. But actually so the spring should be in a helical format like this. This is the spring. When you take the cross section of this, it looks like this, right? So this is the in a helical format. Then uh, next one is the spring may be in tension or compression as the steam pressure acts along the axis of the spring, right? Thus uh, the steam pressure acts along the axis of the uh, spring. But in actual practice, this uh, spring is uh, placed in compression. So, Andre, so here Nagatandre, Ilian steam on the steam this phase is fitted on the boiler, right? So, Iden Ile a spring irito, a spring and a compression, what the bit to compression positionally, either Il Volagren or Kudsirti Vadana. So, in the both the sides, you have wall here, and this is also one more wall, and the, these are the seatings. These on the seatings, the wall is placed on both the ends. So, when the steam with high pressure enters here, it gets diverted on both the sides. So, when it comes here, so it lifts the wall. Both the sides, it lifts the wall. It lifts the wall means it should overcome the compression force. Compression force means the spring is put in the compression position. Uh, spring and the compress body, what the bit a little TV? Other than Higgs Begal. So, steam pressure in the so if we are do all we are this wall and this wall is lifted up and this steam through this wall it comes out to the atmosphere like this. So the exceeds when the steam pressure exceeds the uh, the pressure uh, so exceeds the the designed pressure inside the boiler, then these two walls lifts up and then the steam goes to the atmosphere once again it maintains the the normal pressure inside the boiler the next one is blow off cock the principal functions of blow off cock are to empty the boiler whenever required to discharge the mud scale or sediments which are accumulated at the bottom of the boiler the blow off cock is shown in the figure and is fitted to the bottom of the boiler drum and contains a uh, contains <coughs> or can say so it consists of uh, the conical plug fitted to the body or casing the casing is a uh, packed with the asbestos packing in grooves around the top and bottom of the plug the asbestos packing the asbestos uh, packing is made tight and plug bears on the packing. So it may be noted that cocks packed in the way keep the grip better under high pressure and easily operated that unpacked. The shank of plug passes through a gland and stuffing box in the cover. The plug is held down by a yoke and two uh, stud bolts. The yoke forms a guard on it. There are two vertical slots on the inside <coughs> of a guard for box spanner to be used for operating the cock. So the next one is a feed check wall. It is a non-return wall fitted to a screwed spindle to regulate the lift. Its function is to regulate the supply of water 
which is pumped into the boiler by the feed pump. This wall must have its uh, a spindle lifted before the pump is started. It is fitted to the shell slightly below the normal water level of the boiler. So a feed check wall for marine boilers is shown in the figure. This is for a marine boiler. It is shown in the figure like this. Right. So it consists of wall whose lift it consists of wall. This consists of wall and whose lift is controlled by a spindle. Whose lift is controlled by this spindle and hand wheel and this is a hand wheel because the spindle is connected to a hand wheel so whenever mm, you rotate this hand wheel then the wall uh, lifts up then there is a, mm, a entry of water takes place inside the boiler the body of the wall is made of brass casting and except spindle its every part is made of brass the spindle is made of uh, wood's metal a flange is bolted to the end of the boiler at a point from which perforated pipe leads the feed water. This pipe distributes the water in the boiler uniformly. Right. So whenever the uh, the water enters, right, the water in the boiler already you cross the the boiler already in the cross the you need a wall. So again, the pump start model in a munchene. A wall open so this wall gets opened then the pump starts then water enters inside the boiler so if the water fills inside the boiler then you by using hand wheel you can close this wall so then water stops coming inside the boiler so this is the feed check wall so the next one is a fusible plug so this fusible plug is placed on the crown of the furnace so there are uh, two uh, plugs here p1 p2 and p3 so so this is used to <coughs> this uh, visual plug is uh, used to maintain the so water level inside the boiler uh, inside the boiler to the required uh, level so whenever uh, there is a uh, water level inside a boiler falls below the required level then there is overheating of the boiler takes place and there is an explosion chances are there to explode the boiler so to prevent the explosion of the boiler so this visual plug is used so this visual plug uh, puts off the fire puts off the fire andre idr artha enandre visual plug yak use martina andre Yavaga a boiler lay water level lo yester cast idrene and that gets converted into steam. So a level kinta kelagade with on the water level lo awagena we need to shut off the fire. A litakanta binkin ars wig no ars idre matri nagatapantandra. There is no flue gases, then definitely there is no conversion of water to a steam. Water is not a little steam. So, what is the water? Water is below level. By using visual plug, the visual plug function is to put off the fire. Fire off. Put off the fire off means what? So, it is connected in the furnace of the crown. On the crown of the furnace is in the fit material. So, the water level is not a little uh, required level in the visual plug burn so then the water from the boiler enters the furnace then it puts off the fire this is the visual plug right this is the visual plug thank you this is the end of the session seven